y'all welcome welcome back to another one of my videos so i teamed up today with the creole crafter this is her channel here this is donna she has amazing things on her channel you will have to go and check her out and i will have her linked down in my description box so you guys can get lots of inspiration from her look at those cute snowmen she has lots and lots of cute stuff, you guys. Look here. You will absolutely love her channel, so be sure to go over and check her out. Um, she had messaged me and asked me to join her and make some farmhouse crafts. So that's what we are doing for you guys today in this video. So let's go ahead and scroll go ahead and start with my first project so I am doing a cottage farmhouse ornaments kind of style here and you can kind of see a little sneak peek here of what we are going to make so let's get started so I have some of these triangles in my stash I also am using some cardstock paper here and I'm going to go ahead and try to measure out here at least two of the lines. And we'll go ahead and cut the lines out with my X-Acto knife. And I'm going to use a ruler. That way I don't like mess up the line. Because <laughs> you know how that can be. I'm trying to freehand stuff. Okay. So um, this is what we're going for. Okay, so now I'm going to use this distressing tear. It's called Faded Jeans. And I'm just going to go around the two sides here like this um, on this cardstock paper here. Like so. And then I go ahead and do the other side as well. So the next thing we're going to do is just use some glue here and um, we'll go ahead and uh, glue down the blue cardstock paper to the top of this triangle here. Like so. And here I want to try to get as close as I can to the edge without getting it on the paper. And yeah, so that's what I'm doing right there and it wasn't too bad. So I'm trying to get this as close as I can to the edge down here. That way I can use this paper for all three of these, okay? And voila, this is what it looks like when we are finished. And then what we're going to do is just cut this out here with my X-Acto knife. And now I'm just going to try to be very careful here and just go very slow and easy, even though it looks like I'm going very fast in the video, but I'm not, I promise. <laughs> and then I'm going to go ahead and sand down the edges. Now I have this Crafter Square clear stamp um, in my stash, and I just recently found this, and I'm going to use that today on my project, and I'm just using some black distressed ink. And first I wrote Cozy, and now I'm writing out farm. And I will say these stamps are okay. Um, some of them didn't fully have the stamp on there. So like a couple of them um, didn't stamp completely. But that's okay. It, for a dollar something it's fine. Still turns out pretty nice and you can still read it. And then I just went around the edging. And now I'm going to take this um, decorative trim is what they called it here. And this is like a pearl um, trim, I guess you want to call it, or rope or not rope, but garland or not garland. Oh my goodness. Why am I having a moment here? I guess we'll, pearls, like beaded pearls, but like in a ribbon kind of way, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Okay, and then um, once I was done with that, I'm going to go ahead and glue this little top piece here too because I noticed it was kind of flimsy. And then I have this greenery in my stash, and I'm just going to go ahead and clip off a piece of um, this greenery here. And we're going to go ahead and just put one little piece of greenery onto each of these ornaments here like so. 
Now, I will say the middle one, we're going to have to trim down quite a bit because it was way too long. And um, I wanted them to be a little different, I guess. Um, but I also have a bunch of Sola Wood flowers in my stash. Um, different colors here, but this one's more of like an off-white color. And I thought this would really go with the cottage core um, feel here. So... Um, yeah, this is where I noticed that this one was just a tad bit too long and I wanted the middle one to hang more in the middle instead of like how I did life off to the right and then cozy off to the left. I wanted this one to kind of be in the middle because in the end, cozy farm life is supposed to be like one little saying, I guess, but broken up into three ornaments here. So I, I love this. I hope you guys um, liked my first project here. And I really love this. I think it turned out pretty for being a cottage farmhouse feel. So let's go ahead and hop right into my next one. And we are going to be doing some classic farmhouse ornaments. And yeah, here's a little sneak peek. And then, um, so what we're going to do here, I have these tags in my stash and this is some Waverly wax that I mixed with some black chalk paint to make a deeper, more of a dark brown walnut color. Um, but so what I'm doing here is taking a dirty brush from my dirty jar over here off to the side and I'm just putting a little bit of water on here that way. This spreads, oops, more easily for me. And um, I just do a couple coats on each side. Then I had this piece of paper left from when I cut down from the first project from those uh, white papers. And we're just going to make some shiplap on here. But I wanna go ahead and say, if you are liking this, please go ahead and like and leave me a comment today and let me know which project is going to be your favorite. And don't forget to share, you guys. That way um, other people can see what I'm making over here. So now I'm just taking this Dollar Tree tool and I'm literally just scraping, 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 scraping. And it's going to give it that wood effect. And I absolutely love it. And then we're going to go ahead and just sand down the entire thing, you know, because these little cheap tags um, kind of get little prickly sticking out here and there. So I wanted to make sure that was all sanded down and it was nice and smooth. And of course, you know, I had to sand down all those weird edges that we just made with that poker tool, of course. Now I have these stencils in my stash that I um, actually found on Amazon. So, um, yeah, we're going to pop this down here and, um, I did not fuzz this or anything. It didn't really need it. Um, I didn't think it was going to need it because of course this is wax and you know how wax is with surfaces. It kind of gets weird. <laughs> um, yeah. So next we're going to use, um, I think plaster is more of the classic farmhouse versus the more bright white. Um, so you'll have to let me know your thoughts on that as well. And sorry, my hair is all weird right here sticking out, um, in the video. So sorry about that. Um, but I love this and you see how I got a little bit of paint there on the bottom. That's okay. It wiped up pretty quickly. And then we'll go ahead and do home next. Like that. And then I do dry like this in between each one. Okay. So you guys know. And I did go and wash these little silk screens um, stencils immediately, okay, in my in my bathroom. So, and yeah. So then what we're going to do next is I'm just going to go ahead and finish off that little piece right there. That way it looked complete. And then I have this um, ribbon, lace ribbon in my stash from the Dollar Tree. I've had this for a very long time in my stash and I thought maybe I should probably use it. Um, so I just measured out 12 inches here and I grabbed the scissors that work the 
not so great. <laughs> um, so I had to switch those. And then I ended up actually tying that the opposite way here because I liked it better. So I undid this one, ended it the other, excuse me, the other way. And then I have this pick in my stash from, not sure, I can't remember where, but um, I think Joann's. And then we're just going to um, just trim this down here a bit. And I think I liked it better in the back than I did in the front because I thought the front, it was just hiding um, what I was trying to do here. So, yeah, just do it to the back. And then I ended up fixing this sleeve because I was like, oh, this one's just sticking up straight up in the air. <laughs> um, yeah, but... Once I'm done with that, I am going to cut off some of those little white pieces from the pick too, like those little berry things. And we're also going to glue those down. And then you guys, um, I also grab another like pine pick and I also start to glue those down on these as well. And I will show you a little short clip of me doing that next. And just one little piece here on the side. So you guys will have to let me know, is this one going to be your favorite project today? All right, let's go ahead and hop right into my last project today. And I'm going to be doing some rustic modern farmhouse ornaments for you guys. And here is a little sneak peek. Okay, so um, here I have these... Um, in my stash here and we're going to use some of this wax on them and we're also going to be using some of this white paint here and yeah I'm just going to try to figure out the best I can to line this up which it's not perfect <laughs> because I am not perfect right um, but this is more of the brighter white and um, I like to use the brighter white with more of the rustic kind of feel with the buffalo plaid. That's more like my style there. So that's what I'm going to try to bring to you guys here in this one. And these stencils are so, so cute and so small and so tiny. And I absolutely love them. And on this one, I was not paying attention, but... What I should have done was the cow and then scoot the stencil down a little bit and put the pig on there and then scoot the stencil down a little bit and put the chicken. So they literally look like they're floating in the air. So don't mind that. It's just an error on my end. Um, but I think that one still turned out very, 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 very cute. So there's a tip for you. If you have these stencils, make sure you try to um, move that pig down and the rooster down a little bit. But how cute is this, you guys? And this one is absolutely my favorite stencil. I do have a bigger stencil of this one, too. So um, when I seen the littler, I can't even talk. When I seen the littler stencil of this, oh, I was just like, yes, I'm making it. It's so cute. I've already made one kind of like this before. So if you guys would like to get some more farmhouse inspiration, I did a really cute windmill with this same exact um, cow on it, but much bigger. Um, check that out right now. You guys can click the link here. Okay, so I'm just cutting off some pics of some greenery. And this is the same greenery that I used on those last ones. Um, but I did not show you, I don't think. And here I'm just trying to figure out a placement for these. I actually thought about using one of them for a tree. And I was like, that's when I noticed like my pig and my rooster and my cow is all weird. So I was like, well, maybe if I put some greenery in between it. And I think I might actually go back and add it because I really like that. What do you guys think? With the greenery in between them? I think I actually like that. I don't know. I'm just playing around here because I'm just going on a whim and not even sure what's happening. And I thought I cut some of this out. So, so, so sorry. You get to see me like going through the emotions of what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. But we're going to figure it out together. Okay. So. I went and grabbed my buffalo plaid, of course, because, you know, your girl always has to have some of this somewhere in one of her videos. I try not to do it all the time, but 
Yes, it's my favorite ribbon. Or I should say my favorite pattern. I like the gingham pattern. Or the buffalo plaid. It's kind of the same thing. One's a little different than the other, but... I don't think anybody actually knows the difference. <laughs> Maybe somebody does, I'm sure. But And then, of course, you know, we had to make this into a ornament, so... And this, this is when I decided to just to add all the greenery on top right here next to the ornament. And yeah, do it on this one. And then we'll go ahead and do it on the last one. And then you guys, I have some like cinnamon sticks in my stash too. And I just broke those up into little pieces and I'm just going to go ahead and add a couple of those also to each one of these ornaments. How cute! You guys, I want to go ahead again and say thank you so much to my friend Donna for asking me to join her and make some farmhouse crafts. So um, I appreciate that, Donna. I absolutely love farmhouse and I know you do too. So... It was a great um, time, and I can't wait to see what you make as well. So I want to remind you guys to go ahead down in my description box right now. And don't forget to check out Donna's video, okay? And see what she made. All right, here is my final reveal, you guys. This is it. How cute. So is the cottage farmhouse more your type of style here? And it doesn't have to be blue, of course. Usually cottage is just floral kind of pattern, but I had blue, so that's what I went with. And what do you guys think of this tag here? I really love this farmhouse tag. I think it is absolutely beautiful. And you guys, you don't even have to use this as an ornament. You could also use these on gifts, okay? And just, you know, spruce up your gifts and make them really pretty and then we also have the home one that we made as well now this one i will tell you bled a little bit we could have went in with a sander and sanded that down um i did not it doesn't bother me so but look how pretty it is i absolutely love it and i really really love the rooster too i think it turned out absolutely adorable so so adorable and then here is the last one. Okay, so rustic farmhouse or classic farmhouse was the first one, the one before. I really love the rustic. It's more me. I love the colors together. Even with the green, it's just so beautiful. I absolutely love it. So I want to say thank you so much for watching my video today. You can go ahead and tap my picture right now to subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and watch either one of these videos to get some more inspiration. And don't forget to hit that like button before you leave here and leave us a comment and let us know what you think. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Bye, y'all.